thrilled to introduce you to Van Dean. Thank you very much for being on. You have so much going on in your life, but we'll try to take people through what it is that you're doing. Raised in Trumbull, went to Syracuse University. You're a producer on Broadway. How do you get to Broadway to start out with? Um, well, it started regionally uh, working on developing shows there and then moved to Off-Broadway and then from there made the leap to Broadway about four years ago, four or five years ago actually. So four or five years on Broadway, how would you describe your day? I think everyone's different because I also run a record label now so it's, you know, since I'm wearing a number of different hats, it definitely keeps it interesting. All right, Broadway Records, where, how did that originate? Well, when I was working Off-Broadway, I created a helped uh, produce a show called Rooms. I was one of the lead producers and it was during the economic downturn so nothing lasted very long then unfortunately um, but I knew the only way the show would have a further life is to get an album so I took the initiative of uh, leading the reins on getting an album made and learned the whole process there working with uh, another producer and from there worked on a couple other albums with major labels and decided it was something I wanted to keep doing to help preserve shows and, and get albums made in an industry that has evolved so drastically in the last few years. And it does pr preserve the show. It does. Now you've got something tangible to listen to. Let's look at some of the album covers that, that you have done. Um, the Wiz, tell me about this show and how this album went together. Uh, well, this one we partnered with Sony on it, and I had worked with NBC on Peter Pan Live the year before, and our label, because we're small, there's only uh, several of us, um, in the company were able to be very nimble and they needed somebody who could turn it around basically two days um, because once it's, it was recorded live wow. and released a few days or went off to manufacturing a few days later and they needed a company that could really move quickly and we were had proved with Peter Pan Live we could do that. So you get all the actors together in a room and they record it and here you go. I mean they used to do more of it but you, you've sort of brought it back. You found the vacuum and you're filling it. Exactly. In the case of The Wiz Live, it was recorded from the broadcast. And oh, okay. Usually when we do cast albums, it's done in the course of a day um, in the studio. But in the case of Wiz Live and Peter Pan Live, it was actually done as part of the broadcast. The next one, I believe it is Matilda. Tell me mm -hmm. about this one. Um, this show has always been very personal to me because I love working with children. And um, I've worked with so many Matildas over the years, um, in the four years that the show has been on Broadway. And we... Uh, had put this album together and were involved with the show as well and it's it's one of my favorites that I've been involved with. And let's look at the final one that we have, which is the color purple. How did this, was this easy to get recorded? No, no issues at all? Um, well, they're never easy because it's a different <laughs> industry now, but you know, than it used to be. 20 years ago it was pretty easy, but, um, but in the case of this one, uh, Cynthia Revo, who won a Tony for her role, gives one of the most incredible performances I've seen anywhere, anytime, and we knew that it had to be preserved, and I was glad that the producers of the show came to me and asked me to, uh, to be the one to do that, and so we put a team together and got seven-time Grammy Award-winning producer to be behind the, the board on it and put together you know, one of the albums that I'm most proud of. That's terrific. Now, along comes um, a terrible shooting in Orlando. You have, and what I have discovered about you, is you have a need to help. Orlando happens and you decide to do what? Well, I had experience in this area, unfortunately, with, with Sandy Hook and I had worked with the kids in Newtown for ever since it happened and put on a benefit concert. Uh, we put on productions every summer that I work with the uh, New Arts Organization there to do that. And during the school year, I bring you know, performing artists to Sandy Hook Elementary and now the other schools as the kids are getting older who were, who were there at the time. Um, so we bring, you know, I brought the Matildas, I brought cast members from Aladdin and Annie and Cinderella and, and more. And so it was a natural fit when this happened that I would want to be involved. And Seth Rudetsky and James Wesley, who I worked with on the cast album for Disaster, the show that they had worked on and Seth wrote, um, James had had the idea to do an all-star benefit single and they immediately contacted me. And I was in the middle of recording uh, Your Good Man, Charlie Brown at the time. Um, but I immediately jumped on it. We had a meeting that day while I was at the other recording and figured out all the logistics. And two days later, we were in the studio with 64 top Broadway stars putting together this, this charity single, which in the first week alone raised almost $100,000 for the GLBT center down there. And you're about to go down there. Correct. On the 25th of July. And, and who, who's going and what's going to happen on that day? 
Well, when we created the original From Broadway of Love, which was a benefit con concert for Sandy Hook, we had kept the name on the website knowing that we might need it again, although we hoped we wouldn't. We hoped there wouldn't be a tragedy that rose to the level that would require such a response again from Broadway. Um, but this one certainly did uh, meet, the, meet the level of needing that kind of love and support from, from the community. And so Kenny Howard, who was one of my partners on the original From Broadway of Love, is now artistic director down in Florida and came to me and said, you know, it's time to, uh, to do, you know, another From Broadway of Love concert. So uh, we kind of combined our Broadway for Orlando teams with the, uh, some of the members of the original From Broadway of Love team and created a new From Broadway of Love, um, a benefit concert for Orlando that we're bringing uh, 20 plus Broadway stars, including Cheetah Rivera and uh, Norbert Leo Butts and Jesse Mueller and many others down to uh, Orlando to do a show there on the 25th. I fear that From Broadway with Love is going to have its work cut out for it for many years to come with so many tragedies. Let's look at the album cover that you put together. Did you do this? Did you have somebody mock it up for you? How, how did this come together? Um, well, up until recently, I actually did all the design work for the company. Um, I always wear a lot of hats, but for this one, um, I have a new designer on board as of earlier this year named Robbie Roselle, and this was his brainchild, and he put it together in about an hour, and I thought it was pretty brilliant, and uh, people have really responded to his work on this. You put together more than 60 people. Let's look at some of the photos of the stars. Uh, this grouping, explain, we know we can recognize some of these folks. How are they to work with? We see Rosie O'Donnell and some others. Uh, they were amazing. I mean, we had everyone from Rosie to Sarah Brella, Sadina Menzel, Lynn Manuel Miranda, Kristen Bell, Gloria Stefan. And one of the incredible things, too, is we actually recorded it over the course of two days in three different studios around the country. So Gloria uh, recorded in Miami at her home studio, Adina and Kristen Bell, and uh, Wayne Brady recorded in LA, and then the rest recorded in New York at Avatar Studios. And the beautiful thing, too, is that everybody was just thrilled to be in a room together, being able to help in some way and for this really important cause. And even, you know, everybody from Cheetah Rivera to Sarah Brellis was, was like a, you know, a school kid meeting their idols because <laughs> even though they're all idols to other people themselves, just being in a room with all these incredibly talented and loving and giving people, it was giving people pretty hope. amazing exactly let's roll some of the uh, the recording of what you put together um, and folks are listening to part of this now and we'll play this at the end at the end of the show I do you have pinch yourself that you're working with these types of stars around the world uh, it was surreal I mean I worked with a number of stars before but never so many in one room at one time and as you're just walking down the hall in the studio you know, you're running into Rosie O'Donnell, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Sarah, Sarah Brellis, and Autumn McDonald, all within a few feet of each other. And, you know, even at the Tonys, I don't know if there's been that many in such a small, you know, uh, room together. And so it was pretty remarkable that all these incredible people came together on such short notice and gave of their time. And we purposely scheduled it between uh, the matinee and the evening performance on a Wednesday, knowing that everybody was pretty much in town in you know, in their theaters and maybe needed to go and have dinner or run some errands, but we try to make it easy for them by scheduling it in between shows so they'd be able to come to the studio. It sounds like a logistic, logistical nightmare. Music does bring people together. Um, and in the tragedies that we are seeing in this country and the divide that we are seeing in this country, this is helping to heal people. And that's what you set out to do, correct? It, it is, and I mean, the, the topic of the song you know, what the world needs now is love was no accident. It's, you know, it, it's not a political message. It's just a message saying that, you know, there needs to be unity and love for, for everyone and that, you know, the marginalization of certain groups that are happening to society is, is really unacceptable. And one of the, the phrases I wrote for, for the statement that we gave at the beginning was love must prevail. And that's something that we all truly believe. When we think about what is happening now, we, we've just seen the killing of um, African-American men around the country. We've seen the killing of five Dallas police officers. The producer in you, Van, are you thinking of doing some other things on top of everything else that you're already doing? Well, we're always thinking about, you know, how we can, can be helpful to society. And, you know, I, I think that art not only entertains and is a diversion, but it also is what helps 
educate you know people and gives them a way of viewing you know other people's moral compass and by telling stories you know you can try to empathize with other people's situation and I think that's part of how society evolves too and I think it's important that you know we continue to give back in any way we can and to try to you know model our love and our support for for society in general. Well, from Connecticut, we're very proud of what of what you are doing. Thank you. Let's look at some of the photos that you did with Newtown. Um, here are some of the children. Explain to me what happens every summer and what you did on Broadway. And this was the the twelve fourteen foundation. Once upon a time, and it evolved into what is called new arts. New arts. So explain what this is about. Well, these photos are from a concert that we did, the original from Broadway of Love concert that we did for Sandy. Hook, um, six weeks after that tragedy. And that, How did you pull this together? What was inside of you that said, I have to do something? Well, it, like everyone after that happened, I was in shock and was trying to process it. And uh, Brett Bowles, a, a Newtown resident who I'd met once at a, at a, a Broadway function, um, contacted me and, and said, you know, I, I want to do something to help and I don't know quite how to go about it. Can you point me in the right direction? And I said, I can do better than that. I'll, I want to produce a benefit concert with you. And so he was kind of the man on the ground helping organize some of the student groups there. And we were working you know, in New York and pulling it together from that end and then coming together in Newtown to wrap it all together. And we had 700 people working on the concert um, by the time it happened, and including 350 kids within Newtown. And you know, we had the, the whole third and fourth grade of Sandy Hook. We had. Uh, the Newtown Choir, we had four different dance groups across um, the town in Newtown and they all came together for the, the concert and once that was over I said to myself, well we did about as much good as you can do in one night but it was only one night and there's, there's got to be more that we can do. So the very next thing was I started bringing performing artists to visit Sandy Hook and then uh, Michael Unger, the director from Broadway of Love and I met with Michael Baruti who was trying to put together the 1214 Foundation and his vision is to build a, build a performing arts center in Newtown as a permanent way of... Is it going to happen, do you think? I think so. It, it, will, it takes time and, and money, of course, and, um, but I think we're on the right track and in the meantime we're doing something very important because what I had said to him in that first meeting is your vision's beautiful but it will take six to ten years for all the logistics that are required for that and by then the kids most affected will be off to college. Um, so I said, well, we should try to do something now and suggested maybe a summer program where we put together productions. And I said, the guy to direct it is sitting next to me, which is Michael Unger, because I knew that from his work on From Broadway of Love, he had the heart and the ability to work with kids in this situation and to, to lead it. And so he took the reins and uh, picked the first show and kind of led it ever since um, with Dr. Booty's help. And I've been helping every way I can. And it's led to uh, now seven shows that we've done over the course of four summers in Newtown and 200 kids participate every summer and we hear time and time again from the parents what a difference it's making for the kids and and how it's helping them be themselves again and keeping them inspired and and Dr. Broody's helped develop leadership programs using you know professionals in the area from Yale and other organizations to come in and work with the kids and so it's it's a really all-encompassing program that has been developed there that's really beautiful to, to witness. How can people help you help others? Um, I think giving of their time or you know or donating at newarts.org um, to the cause because it does cost about two hundred thousand dollars every summer to do these programs and it's always a challenge to to raise that money but vitally important because that's what allows us to to do the programs with the kids and almost half the kids who participate in the program either were in Sandy Hook at the time or are graduates of Sandy Hook Elementary and you know in the Sandy Hook School um, so it's it's vitally important that we keep the program going for them. Outside of helping others Van what is going on in your head what are you writing right now that we're going to see on Broadway in the future? Well one of the things actually is that we did uh, a, a Rocket Midsummer Night's Dream was one of the shows that we did with the kids uh, two summers ago. Yeah. And I committed, even before I heard a note of this show that we were having created for them, that I would do an album of it on my label so the kids would have the experience of working in the studio. And, and the show turned out so well that I felt compelled to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on trying to bring it to Broadway with the notion that not only is it a beautiful show, but it's something where it can help promote the work we're doing in Newtown and also 
a portion of the proceeds from the show on Broadway will go back to the community to help build that performing arts center. Do you want to do stuff in Los Angeles as well as Broadway? What else is motion pictures going on? What, what else are we going to see from you? That we're so proud you're from Connecticut. Well, I am starting to get involved in some film projects. I did help out with a uh, documentary that was made about the work that we're doing in Newtown and also that covered one of the families who was impacted um, and their charity that they created, the Anna Grace Project. Um, but I also want to uh, help create films of some of the shows that I've been involved with or, and other shows as well. So taking some of the musicals and plays that produced on Broadway and turning them into films. Where does this give back piece that is just all about Van Dean? You have the need to just give back to people. Where does this come from? Your childhood, just a need to help? Where, where is this coming from? I mean, I honestly think just the whole Sandy Hook experience, working with the families and with the kids after changed that your life. completely changed who I am in my life. And it, it made me feel like at that time that the resources I'd built and what I learned to do up until that time as a producer led me to that moment to be able to do something. And it completely changed my focus. I now try to only do family-friendly shows, shows that the kids who I work with would, would want to see. Because I know that a lot of the kids follow me on social media that I work with in Newtown, and I want to make sure that everything I'm posting and everything that I'm working on is something that would be appropriate for them, that they could enjoy and, and want to follow. And it, it definitely changed my perspective of the types of shows I do and the way I want to go about it. Have you changed Broadway, do you think, um, already? Well, working on it. Uh, it's too soon to say, but... When people think and, and talk about your name as a producer on Broadway, you're getting a reputation. Have you heard it come back to you about, gosh, I did change something? Well, in, in addition to all the charitable work, well, on that end, I think a lot of people on Broadway always want to give back and they want to help. They don't always know how to do it. So with from Broadway with Love and Broadway for Orlando and these different projects, we try to make it easy for them to find a way to give back. And because I find that people always want to help. And if you help them from the organizational side, because not everybody knows how to produce an event, but if you produce the event and ask them to be a part of it, they're always extremely willing to give of their time and their hearts. So I think creating those opportunities to give back is one way to change um, and help. Also, I do mentor a lot of younger up-and-coming producers because the only way the industry will live on is to keep cultivating new producers. And I feel like they learn from me too in the way that I, I like to produce you know, from the heart. And so hopefully that message is, is permeating also. Van Dean from Broadway Records, thank you for all you're doing for humanity. Thanks for coming on. Uh, thank you for having me. And let's listen to the song again. Thank you. All of us in the Broadway community. All of us in the Broadway community. All of us in the Broadway community. Are deeply saddened. Deeply, deeply saddened by the senseless tragedy. That occurred in Orlando. In the early morning hours of June 12th. We send our love and support. Love and support. We send our love and support love and support and thoughts and prayers thoughts and prayers thoughts and prayers to everyone impacted by this act of violence and hate everyone senseless violence and hate this terrible cycle of violence. This terrible cycle of violence. This terrible cycle of violence and intolerance must end. We want to put out as much love into the world as we can because only love can conquer hate. Love must prevail. 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 El amor tiene que prevalecer. Love must prevail. Love must prevail. Love must prevail.
When we're missing Who's this girl I spend all night kissing And if Walter's right here Then who else is missing Got a little sidetrack To find my solution I find the keys to the door But it's also a metaphor Things keep locked In the grocery store of the mind Just to save time I'll Skip right ahead To the last ride The harder we look The less we can see Don't you know You know You know That you need me 